Could we see more sort of from the two of you sort of together? Is it presumptuous of me to? <laughs> Do I even have a future? (laughs) 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 Hello, my name is Ali and I'm here with Danny Elfman and Phoebe Bridges for the latest in Enemies in Conversation series. How are you both? Excellent. Good. Last night was the first um, of the Nightmare Before Christmas concert performances here at Wembley Arena. I mean, how was kind of the, the show for you? I mean, for me, it just, the audience was great, you know. I was a little nervous, because I always okay. am when I'm starting <laughs> these things, and it's such a big place. A little bit intimidating, you know, for this little show. I think of Nightmare as a little show that should be in a little theater with the proscenium <laughs> stage and 100 people out there. So doing it like this is always kind of a bit of a shock to me, but the feeling in the house was great. So, yeah. I think I blacked out most of it. <laughs> I was just so nervous. But yeah, it was awesome. I like once my eyes kind of focused on everybody and seeing everybody smiling. Just yeah, it's just such a cool thing to be a part of. Definitely. I know you did a similar performance last Halloween in Hollywood. I mean, what is it about kind of this movie that kind of keeps you coming back to it? I have no idea. I mean, when the movie came out, mm-hmm. um, it didn't do well, it was misunderstood, and I did a press junket when it came out, you know, where you do like a hundred interviews that are like three minutes long, and every single interviewer said the same thing to me. They led with, not for kids, kids, too scary for kids, kids will hate it, right? And I'd go, well, no, I mean, and, but this was the perception. It was like weird, scary, and they'd say stuff like, Santa Claus gets tortured, doesn't he? And I go, <laughs> No, he's not tortured. He's mildly inconvenienced. It all works out (laughs) fine. But um, the nicest thing about what happened is that kids actually really do enjoy it. And um, it was 10 years after it came out. I was in uh, Tokyo with Tim Burton doing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And and there was Jack and Sally merchandise everywhere. And he was like, I've never even seen this stuff. (laughs) But it kind of became clear that there was this life around it beyond when it first opened. And then it kind of really bloomed after that. And it was like such a wonderful surprise for me um, because, you know, I put so much of myself into it and to have it kind of go in a cloud of misunderstanding, misconception, kids hate it, you know, that kind of thing was kind of disappointing. And, And now I get generation after generation you know people come up with their kids my kids are okay my kids love yours and it's like it feels so good because it's like you're wrong (laughs) and um i don't know what it is that keeps driving it you know i was surprised when phoebe accepted the job and so i i'm always surprised when anybody's like wants to be a part of it i still look at it as this weird little thing we did and i was just uh very happy to have you on board, but you'd have to say how it, you came to know Sally or? I grew up with it. Okay. Um, you know, I'm 28 and what is it, 30 years old? Yeah. Um, yeah, one of my favorite movies as a kid. I, I was- I There you go, critics. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, music critics. Exactly. Uh, not music critics, all the other critics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kidding, kidding. Uh, but I, uh, I, the only part that really terrified me was uh, the bugs. The bugs. When he's bugs. That's so scary. Like, so, like being made of bugs is so scary. Um, but yeah, everything. I had such a crush on Sally. It's just such a, such a beautiful, beautiful movie. And it's so, like, all the handheld camera stuff is so wild. I was mm. thinking about that again last night. I'm like, just breaking so many rules of animation and, or, you know, claymation or stop motion and... Um, it just, yeah, it's iconic. And I feel like it, uh, informed stylistically, like a lot of me be, me gravitating towards like goth stuff as a kid. Definitely. I mean, did you have any nerves about kind of stepping into the role of Sally? Like, yeah, I have nerves right now because we've got to do it again tonight. (laughs) Um, but yeah, it's just, yeah, big, big or tiny little shoes to fill. So amazing. I mean, how much kind of rehearsal time was there? Did you kind of? Not much. No. Mm -hmm. No, there's, with symphony orchestras and these kind of situations, there's never a lot of rehearsal. You know, you just 
go for it. Why did you want to get Phoebe involved in kind of this? Because she's amazing. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's like, again, I'm just constantly shocked that people respond so well. It, it, I've worked on 110 plus films. And if any one of them I could pick and say, for that one, I'd love to have a second life, you know, because their lives tend to come and go in a second mm -hmm. and nightmare, you know, lasted a month and then it was gone forever, is my mind. And uh, it would be this one. And so it actually happened. And, uh, you know, normally I put three months into a film and here I spent two and a half years sure. and put a lot of my own kind of psyche into the thing. And so I had this pers personal attachment. So to have it, have this life and for me to be able to go to Phoebe and go, would you be interested? And she's like, yes. I'm like, really? <laughs> Anytime anybody says yes, I go, really? <laughs> I'm always surprised. So it's just like, um, you know, it's one of those things. I'm just very grateful, that's all. I'm not grateful about many things. I'm sarcastic <laughs> and cynical about almost virtually everything, mm -hmm. except this. You know, I'm just like grateful. Amazing. And obviously, you've both got like a history of collaborations. Could we see more? sort of from the two of you sort of together? Is it presumptuous of me to it? <laughs> I mean, who knows? Do I even have a future? <laughs> it's like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, just as likely I'll wake up dead tomorrow. So, you know, who knows? And how many people wake up dead? Not my, most mean, people, most people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels like that's the start of the next movie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, Phoebe, though, this is like, you know, the first time I think you've kind of gone to like musical theatre to a degree. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, definitely the closest, for sure. Which is, it something, is that something you'd want to explore? Oh, I'm not coordinated enough. <laughs> Even my like timings going on stage are hard for me. Uh, so I'll just stick to the stick to the singing part, I guess. Amazing. And I know, Danny, you've kind of just scored like another ha iconic Halloween sort of series with Wednesday? Oh yeah. Like how was kind of that experience for you? I mean, you know, Wednesday was just fun. It was like returning to an old, you know, I grew up on the Adams family. And so, and, but I really also dug the Charles Adams cartoons even more so. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was kind of like well known kind of character. So to do a variation on this was just, it was just fun. Yeah. I know you kind of made your name with kind of, I guess, gothic soundtracks, you know, Batman and that sort of stuff. Like, are you at the point now where you're kind of comfortable that kind of you're not going to get pigeonholed and you kind of return to kind of, you know, that kind of gothic aesthetic and not sort of be pigeonholed or boxed in? Oh, I don't know. No matter what I do, I'm going to be pigeonholed. Sure. But certainly when I get into like that zone, you know, I know that it's a zone that, but I got to be crunchier with the Wednesday sure. game than usual. And that was, that was fun. Are you surprised by the reaction to it at all? Yeah, completely. <laughs> but you, you got to realize I'm surprised by anything sure. I do having any success. Uh, when Batman came out, I mean, it was, I was composing to a cut that was so dark on the video, I could barely even tell what was happening half the time. And I thought, this is going to be a little cult film and um, at best. And so the fact that it was a big hit, I mean, that shocked me and surprised me. I'm surprised every time I have anything happen that's like successful. I always expect these things to be, you know, I thought Wednesday would be like, like Batman. I thought it would be like a little cult thing. Mm -hmm. Nightmare Before Christmas, a tiny cult. I mean, it, I never could have imagined in my wildest dreams that I'd be doing songs live, leastwise with more than a hundred people, mm -hmm. you know, with 10,000 and, you know, and it's crazy. Amazing. And Phoebe, obviously like, feels weird to be asking the way you're dressed like a skeleton, but I know like you're really into Christmas. Really yeah, into isn't it odd being dressed like a skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, of course. That's right. like... <laughs> very, very strange for yeah. me. <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, you do your annual Christmas covers. You've just kind of done so much wine with the proceeds going to the LA LGBT Center. Like, why is that such like an important thing for you to do? Well, I like fucked up holiday songs. I always <laughs> have. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I just... Uh, like I remember being so inspired when I went to Nashville and, and saw where Elvis had done his Christmas album and he is a crazy person, so I had them make it feel like Christmas in July. Oh my um, God, fucked up holiday songs. I just found the title <laughs> of my next composition. Fucked up holiday songs. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just, and also like what a, it's a cool uh, thing to do for charity every year, like picking a new one. Um, 
and uh, and it's fun. I like tradition, so. Amazing. And your collaboration with Scissors kind of just come out. Like, yeah. it seems to be doing really well. People seem really excited by that. And that did, record is insane. Yeah. How did that kind of come about? She just uh, she just hit me up. She just sent me a DM, um, and then it all happened so fast. I, I I wasn't really used to that. Like in the pop world. Um, because vinyl isn't so much of a consideration until way later. It's just like, do you want to be on this record? Okay, it's out next week. <laughs> uh, so it's so recent. Like, I wrote that, I, which I really like. I like yeah. that turnaround time. Personally, I, I sit on stuff for so long. It takes me years to make albums. Um, so I like being involved, seeing someone else's world from that angle and just being like, oh, she's just, yeah, like, definitely my favorite rapper. She's so, I don't know, like so so effective and cool and a great hang amazing i mean let's talk collaborations like who's still on your bucket list both of you what <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i don't know anyone you still really want to work with uh i mean i imagine you've talked to ticked off quite a lot recently with kind of the solo album and the remixes and i don't know it's that's all so new for me sure. until last year i've 40 years I'd never collaborated with anybody mm -hmm. on anything ever. And suddenly <laughs> it's like finding the joy of like that. And again, it was like a, such a surprise for me and, and so much fun. So yeah, I, I can think of all kinds of possibilities, but I'm not <laughs> going to voice them now because sure. that'll curse it. Yeah. It'll curse it, yeah. Amazing. I mean, let's talk 2023. I know you've sort of mentioned about touring the, you know, the Coachella set that you did or like people wanting you to? I don't know, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said how you're surprised by pop, but you're kind of surprised by reacting to kind of that sort of performance. Yeah, I was surprised they didn't like drag me off the stage <laughs> and, and tar and feather me or hang me on the spot. So, I was front row, go on. <laughs> yeah. And she had actually a bucket of hot tar. Yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting. And, waiting. and, waiting. Yeah. and uh, I remember that. I was like, ooh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> was that before or after you'd invited her to be Sally? Oh, that was before. Before. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, she, she put the bucket down and I said, we're good. Yeah, yeah. we're cool now. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah. You know, it's like, I, I literally, when I walked out to that set that night, I felt like I was walking out to a firing squad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the fact that it didn't happen was extraordinary to me. So anything beyond that is a good thing. I mean, this far into your career, do you kind of still like putting yourself in those positions where it could go either way? Yeah, I like being out of my comfort zone, if that makes sense. So I was way out of my comfort <laughs> zone that night and uh, that's good for me, you know, because I know that I can write certain kind of film scores yeah. forever, but I get too comfortable doing that. And then do, you know, when you're an artist, comfort is death in its own way and so you have to force yourself out if you want to stay alive and uh and so i've been doing that a lot of getting out of my zone in these last years and it's been nice amazing and phoebe what can you kind of tell us about 2023 for you nothing yet nothing yet <laughs> nothing yet i might wake up dead yeah you might wake up dead <laughs> yeah yeah and besides if you said it it would curse it totally yeah so that's, you don't want to curse things. No. A lot of curses going around. You, you, don't, you don't understand how, like, how it works. You can, you can curse something by saying the wrong thing in advance. You've seen the wolf man, haven't you? These things are real. <laughs> yes, curses, full moon, you know, all these things happen. It's like, you gotta be very careful. Okay, amazing. And obviously we got the stadium tour with Taylor. Mm -hmm. How are you kind of feeling about that? Nervous, I mean, this is probably the most people I've ever played in front of. Sure. Ever, I've done anything in front of, so. Um, Nervous to take it there, but excited. Um, yeah, excited to see the production and stuff. Amazing. Well, you've got a show to do, so I'll let you go. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And uh, Merry Christmas. Thanks. Thank you.